paraplegia, paralysis of the lower portion of the trunk and both legs, flaccidity, a decrease or absence of muscle tone. This is after removing a cast, for example. Bunion, hallux valgus deformity, great toe shifts laterally at the first metatarsal joint. The head of the great toe enlarges. That's called the bunion. Bunion surgery, the bunionectomy, six to 12 weeks of non-weight-bearing healing. Place pillow to elevate foot. A negative effect of immobility is that it promotes venous stasis, skin breakdown, muscle discomfort, and contractures. An immobile client may have an increased oxygen requirement. Alteration in self-contract, withdrawal, sleep pattern alteration, and passivity is also a negative effect of immobility. Psychosocial aspect of immobility include encouraging visitors, pet therapy, activities that promote mental stimulation. Effects of exercise on various systems. Isometric, muscle contraction without movement. This is for bed-bound patients. Isotonic, movement of joints during muscle contraction. This is free weights, push-ups, and chin-ups. Isokinetic, performed with specialized apparatus, variable resistance to movement. This is physical therapy and health and fitness facilities. Aerobic. This acquires energy from metabolic pathways that use oxygen. This uses larger muscle groups like jogging, cycling, and brisk walking. Anaerobic. This acquires energy from metabolic pathways that do not use oxygen, such as lifting heavy objects or sprinting. Exercise maintains strength and independence. Osteoporosis. This changes in calcium metabolism leading to possible formation of renal calculi. Decreased bone mass caused by multiple factors, lack of calcium and estrogen or testosterone. Kyphosis is often present in patients with osteoporosis. Non-modifiable risk factors of osteoporosis include older age in both genders and all races, parental history of same disease, especially the mother, history of low trauma fracture after the age of 50, Euro-Caucasian or Asian ethnicity, and eating disorders such as anorexia. Modifiable risk factors of osteoporosis include low body weight, thin build, chronic, low calcium and or vitamin D intake, estrogen and or androgen deficiency, currently smoking, active or passive, high alcohol intake, this is three or more drinks per day, or, and lack of physical exercise or prolonged immobility. An estrogen antagonist is designed to mimic estrogen in parts of the body while blocking the effect in other parts. This is utilized for osteoporosis. PROM is pass in, passive range of motion. This is where the dependent joint movement with assistance. AROM, active range of motion. This is independent joint movement like lifting your arm up and putting it down independently. Kyphoplasty is a minimally invasive procedure used to treat vertebral compression fractures by inflating a balloon to restore bone height. Vertebroplasty, this is the injection of bone cement through the skin directly into the vertebral fracture site. Osteosarcoma, this is a type of bone cancer that usually develops in the osteoblast cells that form bone. Primary originates in the bone, secondary originates outside of the bone. Carpal tunnel, a common neurological disorder that occurs when the median nerve, which runs from your forearm to the palm of your hand, becomes pressed or squeezed at the wrist. Rheumatoid arthritis in diabetes patients are most common. Phalen's maneuver or tunnels are used to determine carpal tunnel. The most common type of repetitive stress injury is carpal tunnel. Fastest growing type of occupational, this is the fastest growing type of occupational injury. Transverse carpal ligament release. This is the surgical intervention for carpal tunnel. An ultrasound is an imaging test that uses sound waves to make picture of organs, tissues, and other structures inside the body. Relaxophene 
increases bone mineral density, it reduces bone reabsorption, and reduces the incidence of osteoporotic vertebral fractures. This is also not given to women with the history of thromboembolisms. An MRI is the most accurate test for determining bone quality. Syndactylism is the fusion of one or more fingers. Atelectasis is diminished breast sounds. Placing the patient in the orthopnic position prevents this. Ischial tuberosities, or sit bones, are the site for breakdown in wheelchair-bound patients. Plantar fasciitis is an inflammation of the fibrous tissue, or the plantar fascia, along the bottom of your foot that connects your heel bone to your toes. Do not apply heat therapy. Instead, use ice, NSAIDs, and supportive shoes. Strengthening a hinge joint to 180 degrees is joint extension. Lateral movement towards the midline of the body is adduction. If you're unable to move an arm towards the bone, that's impaired adduction. Putting your head to your chest is flexion of the neck. Late symptoms of a fracture include tenderness, swelling, and an aching pain that may be felt deep within the affected bone. Often the bone isn't strong enough to bear weight and you may not be able to use the affected body part until the bone heals. Tips to increase appetite. Get plenty of rest. Exercise lightly before meals to stimulate appetite. Select enjoyable foods and foods that have a pleasant aroma. Plan meals the day before eating them. Stay well hydrated. Aim for six to eight meals and snacks per day. Anti-embolism stockings are TED hose that apply compression to the legs to increase circulation to prevent embolisms and DVT. They also help promote venous return. Signs of a DVT include pain, redness, swelling, tenderness upon flexion of the foot, and swelling in extremities. Osteogenesis imperfecta, or OI, are brittle bones that fracture easily. The best treatment to protect skin of frail patients are bag baths. They adequately address the problem of skin dryness, itching, and irritation. Or use a no-rinse pH balance cleanser to further protect the barrier function of the skin. Other interventions include avoiding use of soap, being sure to clean the skin immediately after soiling, and applying skin moisturizer. Methods to improve gas exchange are keeping the client in an upright position or elevating the head of the bed. This promotes optimal lung expansion and ventilation. This position allows the diaphragm to function effectively and reduces the pressure on the chest, facilitating improved gas exchange and decreasing the level of CO2 in the blood. Self-care deficit, think active daily livings, ADLs. A self-care deficit is an inability to perform certain daily functions related to health and well-being, such as dressing or bathing. The neuromuscular assessment are the five Ps, pain, pallor, paresthesia, paralysis, pulselessness. Prior to transferring a client, what should the nurse do? The nurse should assess the patient. Supporting nutrition is imperative. Unhealthy eating habits caused by a busy schedule play a crucial role in food. Unhealthy diseases cause obesity. Diseases related to the heart and metabolism are increased and undernutrition of a balanced diet causes delays in body tissue, wasting, fatigue, decreased activities, capacities. How to assess strength. We assess strength using the manual muscle testing, MMT. It is the most common way to test muscle strength. Abduction pillow prevents dislocation of a total hip joint. If you have a patient with COPD with decreased mobility, their nursing diagnosis would be activity intolerance. If you have a patient patient with chest chest pain while breathing, you need to palpate the chest wall to rule out muscular pain. ORIF. Open reduction and internal fixation is a type of surgery used to stabilize and heal a broken bone. Pins, screws, plates, and sometimes prosthesis to allow the bone to heal. A hip fracture is the most common fracture in older adults. Osteoporosis is the biggest risk factor for a hip fracture. A fat embolism. 
All right, fat embolism syndrome is a release of fat globules from your yellow bone marrow into the blood vessels within 12 to 48 hours following a fracture. This is very common in pelvis and hip fractures. The signs and symptoms include hypoxemia, dyspnea, followed by headache, lethargy, agitation, seizures, and rash. Phantom pain is described as pain that occurs after an amputation. You feel real pain in the part of the limb that's missing. Somatic pain can be deep or superficial, with the deeper pain coming from the skeletal structure, tendons, and muscles. It can be described as aching, cramping, gnawing, or even sharp. Neuropathic pain occurs when a health condition affects the nerves that carry sensations to your brain. Biophosphonates must be taken on an empty stomach. Slow, they slow bone reabsorption by reducing osteoclast function. These are taken for three years, and if a DEXA scan is maintained or improved, the PCP may discharge and repeat a scan in two to three years to determine if you need to have them resumed. <clears throat> a DEXA scan is a dual X-ray absorbentometry. This is the test used to diagnose osteoporosis. If you have a patient with an 8 out of 10 pain and you only have NSAIDs, you contact the provider with fresh vitals and provide SBAR. RICE is rest, ice, compress, elevate. How do you know if your client is ready to ambulate? Make sure they have active range of motion in all extremities. If you can't read an MD note or order, you need to call to clarify. Anti-epileptic meds are prescribed for neuropathic pain. Obesity places excess stress on joints and bones. An occupational therapist works with patients who have conditions that are mentally, physically, developmentally, or emotionally disabled. They help these patients develop, recover, or maintain the skills needed for daily living and working. A rib fracture is described as a crack or an actual break in the rib. You know this type of injury can cause severe pain. A hallmark of a rib fracture is that a deep breath makes the pain worse. Pain from a fractured rib can even impede your breathing, leading to a chest infection or pneumonia. In this, we always assess the airway. Cast care. Keep the cast clean and dry. Cover it with the plastic bag prior to bathing. Never put anything inside the cast. No powders, ointments, or lotions inside the cast. Do not walk or put any weight on injured leg unless the doctor allows it. Body mechanics require coordination between the musculoskeletal system and nervous system. It's a term used to describe the way we move our bodies. It includes four components, body alignment, balance, coordination, and joint mobility. 9.0 to 10.5 is normal serum calcium level. 25 to 80 is normal vitamin D level. A strain is an injury to a muscle or tendon. A sprain is an injury to a ligament. Exercise is defined as any movement that makes your muscles work and requires your body to burn calories. There are many types of physical activity, including swimming, running, jogging, walking, and dancing. The culture that has greater instances of dwarfism than any other population is the Amish. The creator of red blood, cell, red blood cells is red bone marrow. Ganglion aspiration is described as fluid of the ganglion cyst that's removed using a needle. It's an emergent situation if the patient, patient has lost feeling in hands or fingers due to potential nerve damage. Dulcage and calc. Kilograms to pounds, you multiply by 2.2. Milliliters to ounce, there's 30 milliliters to one ounce. Micrograms to to milligrams, 1,000 micrograms to one milligram. Tablespoons to milliliters, there's 15 tablespoons to one milliliter. Trauma to the eye causes cataracts. For example, blunt injury to the eye or head, penetrating injury, or interocular foreign bodies. Conductive hearing loss. This is physical damage to the tympanic membrane. Eustachian tubes pull, causing otitis media. This is an ear infection. 
sensio-neural hearing loss occurs when the inner ear or auditory nerve, cranial nerve number eight, is damaged. Occupational hazard exposure to loud noises, such as sawmill workers or jackhammer. Otitis media causes conductive hearing loss and ear infection. It's common in childhood. Purulent extidate. My ringotomy is the surgical procedure where they insert tubes, and that's for drainage. External otitis media. This is lymph node involvement that can indicate worsening of an infection. Therapeutic communication is critical to building a trusting relationship with patients and their significant other. Open-ended versus closed-ended questions. This is where you specify a topic to be explored, but phrase it broadly to encourage the patient to elaborate. Ask open-ended questions when you want to obtain subjective data. Closed-ended questions require no explanation. When you're speaking to a hearing-impaired client, face the client so they can lip-read. A restraint is a device or method used for the purpose of restricting a patient's freedom of movement or access to their body with or without their permission. One, a mechanical device, material or equipment such as cloth vest or side rails, and two, a chemical restraint. For example, sedatives or psychotropic medications are given to control disruptive behavior. Most hospital beds are equipped with side rails. The rails may run the full length of each. Most hospital beds are equipped with side rails. The rails may run the full length of each side of the bed or consist of an upper or lower rail on each side. If you have a foreign body in your ear, use mineral oil, oil for treatment. Meniere's interventions. Meniere's is caused by the buildup of fluid in the inner ear, the vestibular cochlear nerve, tinnitus, and vertigo. Non-pharmacological treatment is diet and lifestyle adjustments. Avoid activities that place them at risk of experiencing vertigo, such as standing on chairs or ladders. Move the head slowly to prevent or worsening of the vertigo. Lie down if possible. Pharmacological treatment is symptom management. Diuretics can help reduce vertigo, hearing loss, tinnitus, and oral fullness. Antiemetics may help symptoms that occur during attacks. Systemic glucocorticoids can be used when the previous methods do not help. Presbycusis, progressive sensio-neural loss associated with aging. The person experiences a diminished ability to hear high-pitched sounds and to distinguish sounds in a noisy environment. Presbycusis results from the deterioration of the hair cells in the cochlea. Myopia is nearsightedness. Hyperopia is farsightedness. Glaucoma, angle, angle closure is an emergency. Increased interocular pressure. <clears throat> Minimize activities that increase interocular pressure. Results in loss of peripheral vision or blindness. This is the most common type. The most common type is open angle glaucoma. Gonioscopy is used when elevation of the interocular pressure is diagnosed to determine if the glaucoma is open angle or closed angle. It allows the visualization of the angle where the iris meets the cornea. If the collecting lab was never done, check the policy. A goniotomer is measure the exact measure of flexion. Do not squeeze a furuncle. The outcome for glaucoma is when the interocular pressure increase, increases. It leads to compression of the retina, blood vessels, and photoreceptors and their nerve fibers resulting in hypoxemia and death of the tissue and loss of vision. How to administer eye drops. Tilt the head back, pull lowered lid down away from the eyeball with one hand. With the other hand, hold the drop bottle and administer drops with the tip above the pocket. The nurse should instill the medication into the conductible sac and apply pressure to the punch for one to two minutes afterwards to permit systemic absorption of the medication. Ocular irrigation methods. Pour or syringe the fluid slowly and steadily from no more than five centimeters away onto the front surface of the eye, and so inside the lower eyelid and under the upper eyelid. If possible, evert the upper eyelid to assess all of the upper conjunctival fornix. What increases interocular pressure? Fluid buildup, eye trauma, medications, and other eye conditions. Opioids affect 
opioid effects that they make you at risk for pneumonia or PNA for short, constipation, drowsiness, nausea, and slow breathing. How to prevent constipation, FFM, fluid fiber movement. If you have a dressing with drainage one day post-op, you reinforce it. You assess the skin for need for padding. <clears throat> Talk to your MD regarding calcium supplement in regards to options to strengthen your bones. Normal lab levels, hematocrit, 43% to 49% for males, 38% to 44% in menstruating women. Hemoglobin, 13.2 to 17.3 for males, 11.7 to 15.5 for females. Platelet count, 150,000 to 400,000. The minimum urine output is 30 milliliters per hour. ESR reflects soft tissue damage. An x-ray cannot show soft tissue damage. If you have a femur fracture, check H&H, hematocrit and hemoglobin. You may be numb for 20 hours if you receive a spinal for surgery. If there's an absent pulse but, but warm and with good capillary refill, you should reassess with lighter touch. To check capillary refill, briefly press, press the tip of the nail with firm, steady pressure, then release and observe for changes in color. Normal capillary refill is less than two to three seconds. A pain assessment. You need to ask these questions. The pain radiation, pain quality, does it affect active daily livings? Does the back pain radiate down the leg? And does bending or lifting, does it make it worsen? Meniere's disease, classic trio of symptoms, episodic vertigo, tinnitus, and hearing loss, usually between the ages of 20 and 60. Episodes can last several days or have constant symptoms of varying intensity. Patients can be almost to totally incapacitated during an attack, and recovery can take hours to days. Common complications of continuous nerve block, metallic taste, tinnitus, nervousness, slurred speech, bradycardia, hypotension, decreased respirations, seizures. Always assess the patient with a fracture for hemorrhagic shock because bones are highly vascularized. <clears throat> if there's infl inflammation on a musculoskeletal injury, do the rice, rest, ice, compress, elevate. If there's a crushing injury and the patient is complaining of numbness, assess the pulse first. If the patient has post-op hypothermia, provide blankets. What can a CNA, what can they assess or evaluate? Don't delegate what you can eat. That's evaluate, assess, treat. Pelvic, a pelvic fracture complication would be hematuria because bones could puncture the bladder, which is risk for hypovolemic shock. To prevent contractions, use passive range of motion or active range of motion. Osteomyelitis, think antibiotics, teach the side effects too, and infection control. Signs and symptoms include elevated white blood cells, erythema, edema, warmth, fever, and pain. There's four to six weeks of IV antibiotics. Irrigate the surgical wound, hyperbaric chamber, and possible amputation. HAI is hospital-acquired infection. Arthroscopy is a tube inserted for direct visualization. They must have mobility in the joint to do this procedure. The nursing process is a problem-solving method to guide nursing activities. Complex regional pain syndrome is also known as reflex sympathetic dystrophy. This is a dysfunction of the central and peripheral nervous system that leads to severe chronic pain. Pain happens after surgery, traumatic injury, or myocardial infarction. <clears throat> Hypovolemic shock also known as hemorrhagic shock, hypotension, tachycardia due to fluid volume loss, 
pelvic, pelvis and femur fracture. This signs and symptoms are low blood pressure, high heart rate, increased respiration rate, decreased urinary output, and prolonged capillary refill. If you're unable to locate the pulse for osteomyelitis, assess for decreased cardiac output. Tib fig, tib fib fracture treatment. Closed reduction with casting, internal fixation, and external fixation, or it's non-operative. Osteomalacia. Vitamin D, softening of the bone, 24-hour diet recall. Vitamin D needs calcium for absorption, weight-bearing exercises. If the pulse is absent but the skin is warm and pink and the capillary refill is 2 to 3 seconds, what do you do? You reassess with lighter touch. How to prevent DVTs after a fracture. Ted Hose, SCD, sequential compression devices, those pump blood through the leg or a foot pump, which moves the feet up and down. If the patient complains of pain and burning in the calf, what do you do? You measure the affected leg, then an unaffected leg, and compare. Closed reduction and immobilization is the most common non-surgical repair for managing a simple fracture. An incisional injury is the result from a knife wound or crush injury that can lead to a hemorrhage. Acceleration and deceleration of injuries cause direct trauma to the brain, spleen, or kidneys when the organs are moved from where their fixed location was. The bone stealing stages. Stage 1. Hematoma, 24 to 72 hours. Stage 2. Granulation, 3 days to 2 weeks. Stage 3. Vascular to cellular, 3 to 6 weeks. Stage 4. Osteoblast proliferation, 3 to 8 weeks. Stage 5, bone remodeling, 4 to 6 weeks. The first thing you do is remove jewelry if there is a fracture on the arm. The position degrees, high fowler is 90 degrees, semi fowler is 30 degrees, fowler is 45 degrees. Okay, so for an amputation, you use an elastic compression wrap and you dry the prosthesis socket prior to applying the limb. When the patient has skeletal traction device, you should always assess the pen sites. You can use opioids, non-opioids, anti-inflammatory medications, or muscle relaxants for pain management with fractures. You should administer a broad-spectrum antibiotic before orthopedic surgery and a few doses after surgery. Assess hematocrit and hemoglobin, calcium and phosphorus levels when your patient has a fracture or break. The emergency response to compound fracture is focus on stopping the bleeding. Skeletal traction. Skeletal traction. You inspect the skin every eight hours and for infection risk, serous drainage, and for severe pain. Assess for body alignment first. Buck's traction is a pulley wheel to provide comfort by reducing muscle spasm fracture and mobilization. Cataracts is blurred vision, no pain, surgery, and drops are the only treatment. Increased risk for cataracts with excessive UV exposure. UV light exposure can put you at high risk for cataracts or for cancer of the eye, ocular melanoma, where UV filters sunglasses. Any socoria, unequal pupils, may be seen with central nervous system disorder such as stroke, head trauma, or cranial nerve injuries. The signs and symptoms of hyper, hypercalcemia is cardiac dysrhythmia and changes in skeletal muscle tone. Tinnitus is ringing in the ears. Most tinnitus comes from damage to the ending of the nerve in the inner ear caused by trauma. Meniere's disease, hypertension, ear infection medications, otosclerosis, or arthritic changes of the bones in the ear. Macular degeneration is the loss of central vision. Detached retina, you will see shooting stars. If you have a foreign body in the eye, use a saline flush. Irrigate ear weekly if there is a cerumen, cerumen impaction. Meclizine, avoid caffeine. Vertigo is dizziness and spinning sensation. 
zoledronic acid can cause jaw osteonecrosis. Acute compartment syndrome, or ACS, is pain not relieved by pain medication. It's increased pressure that results in decreased circulation. Do not elevate or apply ice, and this may be treated with a fasciotomy. The six P's for compartment syndrome, which is the neurovascular assessment, is pain, which is unrelieved by pain meds, pressure, which is tingling and numbness, paralysis, which is loss of movement, paresthesia, which is increased edema, pallor, which is decreased oxygen, and pulselessness. Avascular necrosis is temporary or permanent loss of blood supply, where the break is. Long-term corticoid steroid use is high risk for this. Lots of pain and limited range of motion. Tingling is a sign of hypocalcemia and paresthesia. The nursing process is ADPI. Assess, diagnose, plan, implement, evaluate. A complete fracture is where the bone is separated into two sections and broken across the entire width of the bone. A compound fracture is where the bone is protruding through the skin. A rotator cuff injury is the inability to abduct the arm. The tear of the cuff is by substantial trauma, like a baseball player. Corticosteroids are used to treat. The drop arm test is used to diagnose. Sizing for crutches. Measure the client from three finger widths below the axilla to six inches lateral to the client's heel. A mechanical lift is a hydraulic device used to transfer patients. Place a fabric sling under the patient and attach chains or straps from the sling to the lifting device. A gait belt is a secure mechanism to hold the client when ambulating. Use caution with an osteoporosis patient, prolonged bed rest, and getting up for the first time. An adolescent with unsteady gait can also have a gait belt used. A walker is used with unsteady gait with lower extremity weakness or cooperative partial weathering clients. Weight bearing, partial weight bearing clients. <clears throat> a cane with a straight handle is used for hand weakness with good balance. A transfer board is used for spinal cord injury with good upper body strength. And a standing assist device is something that assists a client from sitting to a standing position. Now for the Kahoot quiz review. Your client is experiencing immobility. What is your priority? Respiratory assessment. True or false? Your patient is not completing range of motion exercises as instructed by PT. The nurse should state, you will never get stronger. False. <clears throat> Which is the most appropriate nursing intervention to promote mobility? Range of motion exercises every two hours or Q2H, which is every two hours. Which statement by your patient indicates successful progress of your goal set to increase daily physical mobility? I don't get as tired anymore when I go walking with my wife. True or false, the nurse should perform prom passive range of motion for a patient who cannot move independently following a car accident. This is true. What should the nurse do to, to help promote independence for their patient? Encourage the patient to be, perform ADLs that are within their ability. Which statement by the nurse indicates a need for further teaching for a patient with plantar fasciitis? I will encourage my patient to apply heat packs at the end of the day. Your patient has bone cancer. Which is your priority nursing diagnosis? Chronic pain. True or false? Your patient comes to the ER with pain. The nurse should assess the frequency, quality, and location of the pain. True. What is the nurse's priority when caring for a patient with osteomyelitis? Assess the patient's pain and temperature. Which intervention should the nurse ensure the CNA is avoiding when ambulating the patient? Walking on the side and in front of the patient. True or false, removal of ovaries is not a risk factor for osteoporosis. False. 
select a modifiable risk factor for developing osteoporosis, low vitamin D intake. Select a preventable measure of developing osteoporosis, limiting carbonated beverages and caffeine. Which activity is best to reduce bone loss and prevent fractures? Walking. Your patient three days post-op newly complains of numbness in the affected extremity foot. What should the nurse do? Assess bilateral dorsalis pedal pulses. Pulses. True or false? A nurse is caring for a patient who will have large surgical scars. The nurse should assess the client's coping skills. True. Select the most common use of oste- cause. Select the most common cause of osteoporosis. Calcium and vitamin D deficiency. True or false? Weight-bearing exercises should be encouraged for patients with early osteoporosis. True. True or false? Hallux valgus is an enlargement. Enlargement is a corn. Hallux valgus enlargement is a corn. False. What are patients with osteoporosis high risk for fractures? Decreased bone density. True or false? Computer-based occupations are high risk for developing carpal tunnel. True. Which is considered an age-related musculoskeletal change? Decreased muscle mass. True or false? Pain in the arch of the foot is associated with a bunion. False. True or false? Fowler positions, Fowler's position would be 45 degrees head of the bed elevated. True. What medication class is used to decrease inflammation? Corticosteroids. True or false? The patient should take biophosphonates with food to avoid potential complication of the treatment. This is false. What potential complications of a patient's medication experiencing hypercalcemia with osteoporosis? This is cardiac dysrhythmias and change in skeletal muscle tone. Which musculoskeletal condition is treated with chemotherapy? Osteosarcoma. How is osteomyelitis treated? With antibiotics. True or false? NSAIDs can be incorporated into treatment of plantar fasciitis. True. What would be considered a pharmacological intervention for numbness in the hands distal to the ganglion cyst aspiration? This would be a cortisone injection. True or false, chronic immunosuppressant use commonly causes secondary osteoporosis. True. What type of medication is most likely to be effective in patients experiencing phantom limb pain? This is anti-epileptics. True or false? Opioids cannot cause respiratory depression. False. True or false? Vitamin D supplements are needed for calcium absorption. True. True or false? Decreasing fluids, fiber, and movement helps to have a bowel movement. This is false. True or false? Administration of alendronate for osteoporosis. The client should take it while sitting upright and with a full glass of water. True. True or false? Respirations are important to include in physical assessment for patients who are on opioid pain control. True. A postmenopausal client is taking relaxophene for osteoporosis. Which statement by the patient indicates understanding? I will call my doctor if I have pain, warmth, and swelling in my leg. Which of the following should the nurse assess with the patient taking opioid medications such as oxycodone and acetaminophen? Bowel sounds and bowel movements. Select a comp application of fractures caused by pressure which results in decreased circulation. This is compartment syndrome. True or false? Edema is an early sign of fat embolism syndrome. False. True or false? Somatic pain is a muscle, joint, or bone pain. True. True or false? A vascular necrosis is when the blood supply to the bone is cut off or disrupted and death of the bone tissue occurs. True. 
Which symptom occurs with neuromuscular compromise? Tingling. True or false? A complete fracture is a bone that's separated into two sections and, a bo- and is broken across the entire width of the bone. True. Your patient that just came into the ER has their femur sticking out of their thigh. What type of fracture is this? A compound fracture. True or false? Compartment syndrome clinical manifestations typically subside after pain medication is administered. False. True or false? Dyspnea and headache are clinical manifestations of fat embolism syndrome. True. Burning, sharp, shooting pain is classified as what type of pain? Neuropathic. Your patient is experiencing a 9 out of 10 pain in their sprained wrist. Which type of pain is this? Somatic. True or false? Osteoporotic patients do not experience compression fractures very commonly. False. You're caring for a post-op hip patient. What should you include in your dietary education? Protein and calcium will help speed up bone healing. True or false? Splinting and deep breathing with rib fracture healing helps to prevent pneumothorax. True. True or false? Blood pressure will not increase if a patient is experiencing pain. False. Which is the most common treatment for reducing and immobilizing a fracture? O-R-I-F, open reduction and internal fixation. True or false? The nurse should educate if a patient is having hot spots under a cast that can sometime, and says that can sometimes be normal. False. True or false? Leg fractures in a plaster cast should be elevated on pillows continuously for the first 24 hours. True. A client complaining of not being able to abduct the arm at the shoulder is concerning for which injury? A rotator cuff injury. Which type of medication places patients at most risk for pneumonia? Opioids. True or false? Pain in an extremity that is not there due to amputation is considered psychogenic pain. False. Numbness in the hand after trauma. The nurse should assess what? Radial pulse. True or false? Rest is rest or rice is rest ice contain elevate. False. Your patient with a fractured arm arrives at the ER. Which nursing intervention should the nurse complete first? Remove jewelry. True or false? Hand washing is the best defense to avoid the spread of infection. True. What is the best way to prevent DVT after a hip fracture? Anti apply anti embolism stockings. A patient with skeletal traction is complaining of severe severe leg pain. What should the nurse do first? Assess body alignment in the bed. After applying pressure to the proximal artery to a compound fracture to stabilize the bleeding, what should the nurse do next? Perform a neurovascular assessment of bilateral leg extremities. True or false, drying the prosthesis socket completely before applying it to the limb is not a priority. False. True or false, The nurse should prevent hip flexion of the affected extremity after a total hip arthroplasty. True. How often should the nurse assess skin when the patient is in the skeletal traction? Every eight hours. What can the nurse do to help an older patient who has fallen out of bed in the past to prevent another fall? Ensure adequate lighting. Which action should the nurse always take first? Assess. What can be delegated delegated to an unlicensed associate assistive personnel, UAP, providing a back massage? True or false, hypothermia is an increase in body temperature. False. What is considered a nursing intervention for hypothermia? Applying blankets. You are caring for a patient post-op left total knee surgery. What is the most important nursing action? Compare left and right dorsalis pedal pulses. True or false, 
Cold therapy is the best action after a musculoskeletal injury. True. True or false. Ambulation assists with gas exchange. True. True or false. Explaining the procedure, including risks and benefits, is the role of the preoperative nurse. False. True or false. When a patient falls and reports knee pain, the nurse should ask, does the pain radiate to another area from your knee? True. True or false. You cannot compress the blood vessels when assessing a pulse. False. True or false. Calcium and vitamin D supplementation is not necessary after a hip fracture surgery. False. What does the nurse do if her preoperative patient does not understand the surgery that will be performed? Inform the surgeon and document their findings. True or false. A patient's surgical dressing is draining and the surgeon hasn't seen the patient yet. The nurse should change the dressing. False. True or false? Naloxone is the reversal agent for opioids. True. How is osteoporosis diagnosed? With a bone scan. True or false? Elevated white blood cells is indicative of an infection such as osteomyelitis. True. What test is used to determine if a patient has soft tissue damage? MRI. True or false? A goniotomer is used by rehab therapists or nurses to provide an exact measurements of flexion and extension or range of motion. True. Which lab result is typically associated with soft tissue damage? Increased erythrocyte sedimentation rate, or ESR. Which test can be used to diagnose osteoporosis? A DEXA scan. True or false? Ultrasonography uses sound waves to view surgical hardware placement. True. True or false? Soft tissue damage can be seen on an x-ray. False.